te arreglas. Good evening, teacher. Good to see you again. Good to see you Good again. Good evening, teacher. Uh, Velázquez. Good evening, teacher. Mr. Churchill. Velázquez. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Church. Mr. Church. Hay que tomar todos estos postes para pasar rumiando. Te voy a traer uno. Hoy no comienza la clase. Voy a traer un toto poste. Aquí hay, venite. Toto poste. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, what about you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I was just having troubles with the microphone, but it's now working. How was your weekend? So busy. Busy. So the, I remember you said that you were going to have um, the weekend off. Yes, uh, and, and theory. But I was working, preparing a uh, material for my job. I see, I see, I see. All right. Mr. Adam, did you finish the platform? Hi, hi, aquí. Great, great, great. Terminó la plataforma, Mr. Adam. Yes. Finish. Great, thank you. So let's see. So we'll say also good evening to um, Ellen Nielsen, David, Juan Francisco, Magdalena, and Saul. Good evening, good evening, good evening. All right, so well, officially 7 p.m. So let's just start right now with the class. Thank you very much for your responsibility and for joining the class on time, right? So let's see here. What's the first, this one? So we have a tongue twister to practice with here. All right, everybody. So please pay attention to this one so we can, one second here. There you go. Excellent. So this is going to be easier. All right, pay attention. It says yellow butter purple yelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. All right, so let's just review the pronunciation for this activity here, which is gonna be yellow, yellow butter, 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 purple, purple, purple yelly, 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 red, red, red jam, jam, black bread, Black bread. Spread. Spread. Eat thick. Say it quick. Say it quick. Say it quick. Very good. Excellent. So it's going to be like yellow butter, purple yellow, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Like that one. So let's just practice right now, my friends. I will give you one minute so you can practice this tongue twister right here. Remember, I'm going to repeat it again. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick, all right? Practice, 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 practice. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, practice, 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 practice. There you go, there you go. Say it quick. Say it quick. Say it quick. Red yes, that's the last one. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Yes. 
Time's up, so we need some volunteers right now. Who's going to be my first volunteer? All right. Who's going to be the first volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Edmundo. Please go ahead. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spirit thick, say it quick. Good job. Excellent, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the next volunteer is going to be Magdalena. Okay, go ahead, Magdalena. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread. Spread it thin, say it quick. Excellent. Good job. I like it. That was actually nice. All right. Thank you. Who's going to be the next volunteer? Thank you, Mr. Iglesias. Go ahead. Yellow, leather, purple, jelly, red, young, black, press, red, thick. Say it quick. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. That was actually super good. Thank you. Who's next? 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 Next volunteer. No. No volunteer. Uh huh. Another volunteer. Yes. 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 Mr. Martinez. Miss Marino. Mr. Arasabal. Chair. Uh huh. Go ahead, my Hello. friend. Hello. Butter, purple, jelly, red, young. Black bread spread it thick, say it quick. Good job, excellent. Thank you very much for that one, my friend. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for uh, practicing. I don't know if I have any other volunteer before we continue. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gallegos, Mr. Razabal. Boy. Okay, go ahead. Yellow, butter, purple, jelly, red, gem. Black, breathe, spread, it thick, say, I quick. Say it quick. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. Really appreciate it. All right. So now, everybody, let's just continue with the review. So we are going to be reviewing something that we studied the last week. So let's hit this one right here. Okay. There you go. Excellent. So. We are going to check this one, right? So we are going to complete the sentences with the simple past. Remember, we're talking about simple past, all right? So simple past, which is gonna be in, um, you know, affirmative way right now. So let's see this one in simple past right here. So let's see, remember, if I had this one right here, for example, in the number one, we're gonna get this one right here. And it says, my sister and her husband from Greece, the verb here is come, all right? So what is going to be the past of come? Mm -hmm. Coming. What is it going to be? Mm -mm. Remember, we are using past. So it has to be the verb in past. What is the past of come? Came. Came, very good. Okay. So we go on this one, came. Hey. Excellent, all right? So we go here and we have came. Very good, excellent. So then... We go with number two. It says I negative the U2 concert. So what is gonna be this one right here? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What is it, Magdalena? <laughs> didn't like. No. Didn't like. Very good. Excellent. Didn't like. Yeah, we say it like that. Didn't like. Correct. Didn't like the U2 concert, right? Why didn't? Because it says here that it's not, so it's negative, right? So then you go with number three. Number three, it's going to be my cousin mm -hmm, from France yesterday evening. So what is it going to be? Cousin, my cousin. Um, remember that this is a verb right 
Ajá. What is going to be the past of fun? No remember, teacher. Okay, no problem. So let me help you with that one. That is going to be um, a regular verb. So it's going to be just with ed at the end. So it's going to be fun. Like that. And so you go and say like my cousin fun from friends yesterday evening. Super good. Is Excellent. Is there is you go. Good teacher. Thank you. All right. So next one. On Monday... Johan, what's the pass of go, my friends? Mm -hmm. mm, which one? Why el pasado de pong? The go. No. Go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is it? Hello, hello. What is the pass of go? When. Very good. Excellent. So it's going to be this one. When. When. Yeah. Final sound here. Excellent. Thank you. Right. Now we have a question. Right. Pay attention in the question. What is the first thing I am going to use in a question? In a question. Uh -huh. ¿Qué se usa primero en una question? ¿Qué va primero? Yep. The verb. No. They. No, no, no. No. What is it? It is going to be the auxiliary. And what is the auxiliary for simple past? Teacher, sería do, do you. Mm, yes, but that is present. And in past, what is the correct auxiliary? Oh, did, did you. Did you, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Do you. Not do, it's did. Do it will be like this leave. one. Live. Be you live. You live. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we're going to just like make it a little bit smaller because of the space. Uh -huh. Because you have you have a question here in past. Remember, everything is past here, right? La so, otra una question también. Uh -huh. so what would be the correct structure here? See, it's did also did you like, did you, did you like? Exactly. Did you like? the movie like, or the film in this like case the film. Mm -hmm. so then you go with the next one so what is it for the next one they they didn't finish they, they didn't finish didn't. Very good. excellent no, okay, okay. So you can see it here. I listen, teacher. Mm -hmm. This one is also a question. No, 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 no. Oh, I have a question here. Bueno, let's finish this one. Sí, varias veces, ahí la he recibido. What is this question? Uh -huh. Did she? No. no. Yeah, that's correct. Did she? Uh -huh. ¿Qué es? ¿Qué pregunta? Did she? No. Solamente vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio aquí. Aquí tenemos que cambiar este sujeto. Did she go to the cinema? Did she? Sí, porque ahí está. Sí. Uh -huh. Vamos a hacer un cambio aquí. Nos equivocamos de sujeto. Ok. Sí, Did they? Exactly. Did she? Yeah. Did she? Correct. Now correct. Now, no, she didn't. She. Uh huh. We'll be here. She didn't. Verbo is. 
-hmm. What is the past of the verb stay? Stay it. Stay it. Stay it. Stay it with ed. Very good. Excellent. All right. Stay here. Stay here. Yes. So it's going to be like this one. Stay. There you go. Wait one second. Stay here. Okay. Awesome. All right. So at home, she. What is it here? But what is the pass of get? get. Mm -hmm. What will the pass of get? Got, teacher. Got, very good, excellent. So let's continue with this one right here. So we can go she with got. the last one. Got, I called, excellent. Got, 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 got. Excellent, 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 excellent. Okay. So then you go on this one. So do you have questions here? Questions? No questions? No questions. Okay, no problem. All right. So if you don't have questions for me, I have more questions for you. All right. So. We are going to clean here and we continue with the next. Okay. Now, a, another topic that we were studying last uh, Friday, it was the present perfect. You know, present perfect, when you said that if you have or you haven't seen anything here, All right? Así que ahora vamos a review this one right here. So, what is it? So, we're going to use the present perfect. I am going to, um, you know, help you with this one here. So, for example, with number one, it says here, it says not in the verb work. All right. So, in the present perfect is el have or has. In this case, it's negative. Y el pasado participio del verbo work is work. All right. That's why we go this one right here. Let's check number two. Number two, we have the, the, the subject we, and we have the verb by. This is a positive or affirmative sentence. So what is going to be the correct sentence right here? What's going to be the correct answer? We. Mm -hmm. What are we going to use here? Yes. Has teacher. Has, are you sure? He had. Exactly. You know, we are going to use has only for he, she, or it. So in this case, it's going to be we have in the past participle of by. Both. But, all right. So we got this one right here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. We have but a new land. All right. That's gonna be the next one right here. Then we go number three. Number three is also negative. You know, the auxiliary, the subject, it's the same as this one. And it's not as the one we have here in the implant. So what is going to be the correct answer here? We? No, ya estamos en el past, en el present perfect. We have a planet. Mm -hmm. We have right. not so it will be planet. Have not planned. Very good. We have no plan or holiday yet. All right. Super good. Super good. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Now. Uh, we have this one right here. Oh, hi, Mr. Santos. All right, Carlos Santos Reyes, terminó el trabajo plataforma. Well, let's continue with this one. Where, 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 where? It's a question. 
So what is the first thing in a question? Where? Yeah. Where have you been? Where have you been? Exactly, right? Right. Let's do this one. Very good. Excellent. And it will be where have you been? Have you been? Excellent. All right. What about number five? Uh, also, it is a has. Okay, and then and then the bird, right? Written, written, all right, written. written, written, written. All right, very good, excellent. So, we're gonna write it here. All right, has written five letters. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. So, let's just continue with the next one. Number six, it says she and it's negative. She has, oh. she has not. Very good. All right. Good job. Good job. So she has not. What's the past participle of C? Mm -hmm. What is the past participle of the verb C? Mm -hmm. So that's simple past. That's all. <laughs> so, so, so. No, this is simple past. It has to be different. Sin. Yes, thank you. It's this one, sin. So she has not seen him for a long time. All right. Excellent. So you go on the next one right here. All right. And it says it's a question. How do you? Have you very good? Have you? Mm. Uh huh. Have Be, you been? No. Yes, correct. Yes. Have you been? Have you been at school? Correct. And then you got the next one right here, which is gonna be a negative one. School. Negative. Here, the subject it's the school. That's my subject. It's entonces es eh, has correct has has this word. No vamos a poner it porque ya tenemos escuela ahí. Solamente vamos a poner el auxiliary. Sería has. Eh, and since it's negative, we go with none. And what is the past participle of the verb start? Mm -hmm. Started. Started. Very good. There you go. So we have this one right here. So um, school has not started yet. All right. For number nine, we have a question. So the question here, it says that the subject is he. So what is going to be the auxiliary I'm going to use for my question? How? How is speaking? Spoken, I'll go see. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what is the auxiliary? How? Uh-uh. Remember, has. my auxiliaries are have and has. Has, teacher. Very has good, he. excellent. Has he, he spoken, as spoken. you said before. Yeah, yeah. Very good, excellent. Has he spoken to his boss? All right, excellent, thank you. And the last one, which is also negative, my uh, subject here is he. So what is going to be here? He has. Very good. So he has. It's negative. No. Have, not. And what is the auxiliary here? I mean, the, the verb? Mm -hmm. What's the verb? Had. Had. Exactly. So it will be like this one right here. Had, had, had. Has not had. 
Very good. Excellent. Thank you. We finished now with present perfect simple. All right. Excellent. So do you have questions about vocabulary or anything related to this topic? No questions. Uh, teacher, un comentario nada más. Go ahead, my friend. Eh, que yo creo que, bueno, en lo personal, este, este tema es el que más problemas creo que nos da a todos acá. ¿Qué okay. podríamos hacer? Además de aprendernos los verbos en presente, pasado y toda la cuestión. Ok, sure, no problem. What the recommendation here would be eh, to, to know exactly what you try to say. Es decir, saber exactamente qué es lo que usted quiere dar a entender. All right, so, because, for example, para mí queda claro que ustedes, you know the structure. Esa es la estructura porque me han respondido en los ejercicios aquí. Ok, ahora, ¿qué es lo que hay que hacer? Recordar qué significa esa estructura, por ejemplo. Si yo le pregunto, if I ask you, Wilbur, translate from English to Spanish, um, the number five, el número cinco, ¿qué dice number five in Spanish? Has escribido, o escrito, perdón, has escrito cinco, no, five let, letters. Ajá. Pero, ¿quién ha escrito esas cartas? He escrito cinco cartas. ¿Quién las ha escrito? Él. Él, Él ha escrito Él. cinco cartas. Exactamente. Entonces, ahí es donde venimos. Y we want to actually check something right here. For example, debemos decir, eh, for example, you want to say, yo he comido pupusas. So I'm going to say this one. I will say, I have eaten pupusas. All right. So, entonces, más que aprenderse los verbos, which is important, claro que sí, of course, que sepa cómo se dice comido this one, you need to understand, tiene que entender que esto significa esto, of course. All right. So, porque a la hora que usted quiera usarlo, se acordará, se, se eh, acordará, sorry, que esta es para mí, eh, this is going to be la, la estructura que va a utilizar, right? Así que here, that's basically what happens, right? We need to understand this one. Si yo quiero decir, for example, ella no ha, co ella ha comido pupusas, so I had to change that one. ¿Cómo sería entonces esta, my friend? She has. She has eaten pupusas, She has right? eat, eat And if I, I want to say like this one, so sería aquí, she has not, or the contraction, hasn't eaten pupusas, right? And this is that's basically my recommendation for this one here. That when you're trying to like say this one, it tiene que ver con lo que quiere dar a decir usted o, o la expresión que quiere dar. For example, vamos a hacer un ejercicio ahorita, which is part of the class right now, where we are going to check the difference, the difference between simple past and present perfect, right? Take a look at this one. Aquí vamos a analizar. So this is the exercise where we are going to analyze if we are going to use the past simple or the present perfect. All right, take a look at this one. It says here, hey guys, do you know the meaning of sink? What is sink? Mm -hmm. eh, es cantar o cantante, yo creo, o algo así. No, ¿Sí? cantar is going to be sing, which is this sí. one. Sink is going to be hundir. All right, entonces estamos hablando del Titanic y hundir, entonces el Titanic ¿Cómo sería aquí la idea? Let's just pay attention to this one and try to analyze how the idea is going to be. ¿Sería la, la idea correcta aquí? ¿El Titanic se ha hundido en 1912 o el Titanic se hundió en 1912? Uh, number two, se hundió. Se hundió. Ok, very good. And what is the simple past for sink? Uh -huh. Get it. Teacher, en este caso no agregamos ed a ese verbo. No, es irregular. El verbo irregular va. Sin, san, sun. There you go. So it will be like sang. This one. The Titanic sank in 1912. Very good. Excellent. So we go on this one, right? Then. Now we go with number two. Number two right now says somebody, blah, 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 my bicycle. Somebody, somebody have stolen my bicycle. Have stolen or has stolen? Has stolen. 
Remember that somebody is like third person, right? So, so the auxiliary has here stolen. Be, has stolen. Very good. My bicycle. Now I have to walk out. So. If you're right. a teacher, so, uh, yes. I, I was taking a, a, a cell phone call from my boss. Yes. Okay, fine. I got it. Understand. No problem. All right. Excellent. So then you go on this one right here. Uh, then you go with number three. All right. So like try to understand this one. Number two. All right. Alguien ha robado mi bicicleta. All right. That's actually what it says. Very good. Number three. We go with number three. Uh, Jerry fall, which is fall, my friends. Yeah. Very. Very good. So fall off. Fall off. Fall off his bike three times this month. All right, ¿cómo sería? ¿Se cayó o se ha caído tres veces de la bicicleta? Has, has fallen. Fallen. Exactly. Fallen off. Good. Excellent. This bag three times. Has, has fallen. Has fallen. fallen. Has fallen off in his bike. Como el off ya está ahí y lo vamos a dejar. All right, falling off. Very good. Excellent. So, then, we continue with this one. I, then I have the bird C. The movie Titanic three times. I'm going to see it again tonight. All right? What will that be? Yo he visto la película tres veces o yo vi la película tres veces? I saw. Mm -hmm. I have. I have. I saw. I. Oh. I. I. I see. What do you see. think? I have seen or I saw? Saw. Mm -hmm. Saw es pasado. Mm -hmm. Pero recuerden que el pasado, cuando yo use an action in past, quiere decir que la acción ya terminó en it's not happening again. Y en este example dice I've, I've que seen, la va a volver a ver. I've seen ah. the movie three, three times. Ajá. Entonces sería. I have I, seen. Exactly. I have. Ah, yeah, yeah. I have seen a Titanic, the movie, three times. Ahora, ¿cómo hubiera determinado yo que era pasado? How uh, am I going to talk about that is that it's past? Very simple. Si después de aquí, hubiera, después de Titanic, hubiera dicho una expresión como ayer, el mes pasado, el domingo pasado, etc. Right? Like it means it finished at that time. All right? So I have seen the movie Titanic three times. So I'm going to see it again tonight. Then you go on this one. Walk, walk, walk. Right? Number five. So what is it? I walked to work every day for the last six weeks. Uh-huh, excellent. So that is going to be simple pass, yes or no? Yeah, work. Yeah, this one is simple pass because yeah. the I has to work, so I walk. All right. Work. Work. Yeah. Work. 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 There you go, excellent. I walked to uh, work every day for the last six weeks. Very good, excellent. So you go on the next one right here, number six. It says, when Hello. she was young, she, she lived. She lived. Exactly. So it's gonna be like that one. Lived. lived. All right. In Seoul. All right. So very good. So when she was young, when she was young, is el expresión que me dice que esto ya pasó. All right. So when she was young, very good. And then you go on the next one. It says, "Ouch." Mm -hmm. What is it here? Uh huh. It will be just I cut. Cut is the same, right? I cut my finger. My finger. Me. All right. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly, exactly. All right. Everybody here? Do you have any questions, Sean, between the simple past and the simple and the present perfect? Teacher. Yes. I have the question uh, uh, number seven. El, el verbo cortar parece, se, parece que se mantiene en todos los tiempos. Good, good, That good. is correct. Thank That you. is correct. Thank That you. Correct, correct, correct. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> no Thank questions? you very much, teacher. <laughs> well, what teacher are you talking to? All right, so. Uh -huh. No more questions? Okay, cool. No questions. So let's continue now with the new topic right here, which is going to be this one here. 
So let's just talk about this one and let's talk about wish, 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 wish. All right. So let's go on this one. All right. This is actually how to talk about this one. So the wish here. All right. So la expresión wish is seguida del past tense. All right. So in se refiere al presente. Es decir, cosas que desearía que pasaran. Basically, like things that I wish to happen, right? Y tenemos some examples right here. So, then este, esto es eh, what we call here fact. How do you say fact in... in hecho. Spanish? Un hecho, exactly. So, ese es el hecho, which is normally in, in, in past, right, of course. And then we go this one. So, the first example says, I don't like my job, right? So, esa sería entonces la primera, right? La primera, la primera, la primera. There you go. Exactly. Then, you go with the next one right here. Sería, I wish. I want. Someone, someone else. Uh -huh. Exactly. Tenemos those options right here. The first one. I wish I could find a better job. I could find. Sería aquí que yo pudiera encontrar. Y full is past. Yo right. deseo so, en, encontrar a better job. In this no. case right here, um, maybe it wouldn't, it wouldn't mean literally yo deseo. Uh, it would be translated as desearía. Right, poder encontrar o trabajo, o sea, trabajar somewhere else right here. Then you go on this one right here, and give me one second here quickly. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There you go. And next one right here. Okay, this one right here. And let's see this one. I live with my parents. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot this one right here. I wish I worked somewhere else. It's otra manera de darle una respuesta o un like to express a wish on that one at the same time, right? And the primera it says, desearía poder encontrar un mejor trabajo. And the second one you have here, desearía trabajar en algo más. En algo más. All right, exactly. So, super important right here, which I guess you need to pay attention to this, it's that no vamos a traducir literalmente. Porque si usted intenta darle traducción literal, if you try to translate it literally, no le va a encontrar sentido. All right, so, porque sería algo como, yo deseo, yo trabajé. All right, so, entonces, ¿qué significa? O, how do you translate it? It's very simple. Esa que está aquí, you say like, desearía trabajar en algún uh, otro lugar. En algo más. Punto, like that one. And I go mass, exactly. Somewhere else when I want to lugar. Very good. So, eh, like this one. Let's go with the second examples. Lidia dice acá la segunda, eh, el segundo hecho, all right? The second fact, which he says, I live with my parents. All right? So, I live with my parents. So, what is it? Mm -hmm. Yo vivo con mis, con mis padres. All right, I exactly. Live my... I live with my parents, right? Yo quisiera expresar, actually, entonces, mi deseo de que eso fuera different. I wish that happened in a different way. So, entonces, venimos acá con el simple past. Y decimos, I wish I live in my own apartment. The question here is the following. How are you going to understand this? Or how are you going to translate this into Spanish? Yo deseo vivir en mi propio apartamento. Uh -huh. Yo deseo vivir en mi propio apartamento, right? O, si esto es negativo, sería I wish I didn't live with my parents. ¿Qué sería? Yo deseo no vivir con mis padres. Ajá, very good, excellent. So now, let me just show you some, here something really important. Okay, very good. So we go on this one. One second. I'm going to show you here something quickly. So you can see it. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Igual. I guess it says, I wish I live in my own apartment, right? And then you go this one. I wish I didn't live with my parents. There you go. Okay, take a look at this one right here. Y veamos esto, my friends. 
Let's see this one. How can we translate it? How can we understand it? Take a look. Is this one? Ojalá viviera, ojalá no viviera. All right. So it's actually what it says here. I wish I live. I wish I didn't live. All right. So, for example, if you want to say, I wish I work somewhere else. All right. Ojalá trabajara en un otro lugar. So este I wish it would be just like ojalá. When you express this one, or oh, like this one, in todo caso, sería lo más cercano de sería. But ojalá sería like the best translation for this one. ¿Estamos claros con el message, people? Is it clear? Yeah, clear, teacher. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Super nice. All right. So we go on this one right here, and let's continue with the examples, right? In a life is difficult, I wish it were easier. All right. So I wish it, I were, wish easy. it were easy. Super important right here. Para el verbo to be in this example, right? Vamos a utilizar where con todos los sujetos. All right? En este, en este tema. So, I wish it were, I wish she were, I wish, I wish, sorry, eh, he were, etc. Right? So, we are going to be using where with everybody else there. Right? Is it clear? Clear. Yeah, all the subjects. Mm -hmm. So, I, he, she, it, plural, todo, singular, todo, todo. everybody, where. No vamos a aplicar lo que hacemos en el simple past, que en el simple, en el, en el past, right? So decimos, I, he, she, it, was. Los demás, where. En este, todo el mundo usa where. Well. Exactly, exactly, exactly. All right. So, questions? No question, teacher. Okay, excellent. So, let's just put this into practice. So, we have here some um, facts, right? So, we can actually Don't get have, this one here sir, done. Car. Mm -hmm. Not We're going to be working on this one. All right. Okay. Take a look at this one. I'm going to help you with the number one. And then you continue with your uh, with the, the rest of them by yourself. So, for example, the fact is like, I don't have a car. So, what will be here? My wish. What's the key? My wish. I wish. I wish. I could... I could have one. That's fácil, right? So, ojalá tuviera un carro. How do you say this one? So, I wish I could have, could, could have, have a car. I have a, a one. Mm -hmm. What, would, what is the one you have? Uh, I could, I could have. No, I wish I could have a car. Mm -hmm. Excellent. This option is also correct. Okay, so the two of them are correct. Right? Esta es más sencilla. So, ojalá tuviera un carro. Ojalá pudiera tener un carro. That's mm -hmm. the difference. La única diferencia es que cuando yo le agrego aquí cool, el verbo se queda en su forma base. Y acá, como no llevo cool, el verbo tiene que estar. En paz simple. Simple paz. Simple paz. Exactly. Simple, simple. All right. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that clear? Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So let's say this one right now, my friends. I'm going to give you the opportunity to work on the next exercises. Let's see. Take your time right now. Read it, analyze it, and then tell me what's going to be the best wish here. I'm going to be here. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. Wish. Okay, Wilbur, you have the answer. You want to try it? Bueno, en español sería la respuesta como eh, me gustaría tocar piano. I wish playing. Ah, no. I, I played. I played. Uh -huh. I played. I wish. I wish playing. No. Okay, so what will be the correct answer here? I can play the piano, so yo no puedo tocar el piano. So, sería, I wish. I wish I play it. Mm -hmm, I good. wish yeah. can I play wish. the piano. 
I wish I play played play it play it play it play it or the piano right oh the piano okay all right is there any other possible answer I wish mm -hmm. I could I could play the piano piano the piano, piano. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. That is actually correct. I wish I could play the piano. That's right. You did it correctly. All right. So what about the next one? I am at work. All right. So I said no da un poquito más de creativity. So I let's see. At work. Where, 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 where? Uh, I, I wish I were at home. For example, for the answer, right? So, it will be like, I wish I were. Wish I were at, at home. home. All right. What else could you say? It could be, you know, the last part, it could be any place, right? I any wish place. I were with my friends. I wish I were at the soccer match. I wish well, I were. I wish I, I were at, at the swimming pool full All of right. girls. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So it says like I wish I were. I wish um, I could. I wish I were with a lot of girls. With a lot of girls. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Example. Well applied. All right. So let's see. This one, number four, it says, I don't have new shoes. So what will be the correct example right here? I wish. Mm -hmm. I wish. I have. I have. New shoes. New shoes. New shoes. New shoes. Oops, sorry. All right. Shoes. Or it could be also. I wish I could have. I wish I could. I have. I have. I wish I could have. I have. New shoes. New shoes. Oh, again. All right. So. New shoes. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. So you got this one right here. I wish I had new shoes. I wish I could have new shoes. Excellent. All right. So let's just continue with this one right here. I don't have time to read a lot of books. Uh -huh. What is it? What is it? I wish. I wish. Oh. <laughs> I have. Time. To read. To read. A lot of books. And then we're going to have it like that. Just because of the space. All right. So yeah. I wish I have time to read. But yeah, you can say a lot of books also. All right, very good, excellent. So my laptop it's broken. Uh oh, what's gonna I be wish, that one? I wish I had a new one. Okay, I had a new one. That could be a possible answer. Very good. There you go. All right, so like that one. So thank you very much, my friends. Do you have any questions about this? Mm -hmm. What is a, a wish? Uh, excuse me? Uh, what is the significance of the wish? Wish is desear, my friend. Uh -huh. Desear, desear. Teacher. Yes? In pregunta, no me... I wish I could. Uh -huh. In the question number? In the question number three. Number I three, am, okay. Uh -huh. Dice, I am at work. Luego se escribió, I wish I were up how. Mm -hmm. dice, I wish I were with a lot of, of beer. Mm -hmm. Entonces, el verbo, por ejemplo, si lo traducimos, en, dice, yo estoy en el trabajo. Correcto. El verbo work, de trabajar, va. Yes. Lo convirtió en, aquí en los complementos no lo... No lo veo. Le explico. Lo que sí, sucede es que 
en, en el número tres, la palabra work no significa trabajar, no, 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 no se ha usado como verbo, sino que está uh -huh. utilizada como trabajo, uh -huh. como noun. Adjetivo. Ajá, exacto. Entonces, estoy en el trabajo, no estoy trabajando, uh -huh. right uh -huh. Entonces, lo que hicimos acá con bueno, los examples en red fue cambiar el lugar. En lugar de decir que estaba en el trabajo, en la casa, o como dijo ahí Mr. Eh, Lucha. Mr. Ryan, uh -huh. So, with a lot of girls. Sí. Gracias, Tichi. Tenía esa pequeña esa duda ahí. It's okay. No worries. No worries. It's okay. Uh -huh. Any other question? No questions, no questions. No questions. Okay, very good. No very good, teacher. Let's continue right now, but let me check attendance right here. Mr. Adán Iglesias, is he present? Thank yes you, or teacher. no? Thank you, Mr. L. Nilsson Rivera. Yes, ahí está. All right, so let's see. Carlos Alberto Santos. También. All right. Eh, Mr. Carlos Cruz. También. Also. Teacher. Mr. David Rosales. Yes. Present teacher. All right. Edith Consuelo Represa. I don't know her people. I have never seen her. Mm -hmm. Edmundo Martinez. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Enrique Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Beatriz. Jen, no. Another person that I have never seen in my life. Ever Enrique Gallegos. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Franklin de la O. Yes. Herbert Oya. Present teacher. Tengo problemas con el audio. It's okay. No problem. All right, so Jose Benjamin Gavidia. No. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Maria Magdalena. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Monica Ivette. Present teacher. Ah, Monica. Well, <laughs> All right, Santos Mauricio. Saul Martinez. And Good evening, Wilmer teacher. Rivas. Hi. Thank you, thank you, my friends. Really appreciate it. So let's just continue right now. All right. So there you go. There you go. Okay, very good. Excellent. So let's say this one right here, my friends. So we're going to go with the next activity here which is going to be this one you can see. It's time for a change. It says here, time for a change. What does it mean? So it's going to be very simple here. It I says, have problems with the signal. Okay, got it. All right, uh, this one, it says, what do you wish were different about the situations? All right, vamos a crear aquí eh, sus propios deseos, siguiendo la, la, la estructura que acabamos de ver, following the structure we just checked. And you can check this one. So, for example, vamos a, a eh, hacer un ejemplo de un deseo que tengan acerca de su apariencia, de su familia, eh, acerca de su escuela o trabajo, acerca de su casa, sus conocimientos o su tiempo libre. ¿Cómo va a ser esto? Well, very simple. Digamos su apariencia. Eh, a bailaré por mí. My appearance. So, sería entonces, I wish I... Where thinner? What is thinner, my friends? What is thin or thinner? Ajá, en este caso, como estoy comparando, sería más delgado. Exactly. Very good. So, entonces sería ahí thinner. All right. Very good. Entonces, ahí el, el, el deseo que yo quiero expresar sería más delgado. So, I wish I were thinner. All right. So, or for example, de mi casa, I wish I had a bigger house, right? Y digo que sea, que sea, ojalá tuviera una casa más grande, all right? Very good, very good. 
Uh, let's see this one. So uh, then you go with this one. In my free time, you can say, for example, I wish. Lucky. I wish I had more time. Very good. Excellent. Understand, my friends? More free time. <laughs> yes. More time, right? More free time, actually. You're right. Yeah. I forgot to add that one there. More free time. Yes. Like that. Excellent. Hey, understand, my friends? Yes? Yeah, yes. yes. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. So, Let's just work in the breakout rooms right now, my friends, para que ustedes puedan ahí ver eh, with your friends. Uh, practice, uh, practice, practice. So let's see. Breakout rooms. Okay. And there you go. Excellent. So please join the breakout rooms right now, my friends, so we can practice. Join it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you, thank you. La yap. Yo. Mi cedillo. I wish. Ah. Uh -huh. I, I wish. Um. Where I wear. Big school. Una casa qué? No, me gustaría. Tener una escuela en mi trabajo, algo así. Pero que es how? How? It's cool. In, ok, in, so sería así como. En my, in my job. Uh -huh. I wish it was. Ok, se dijo, ¿qué es tu nombre de tri? You're scared, you're fly tight. Podría ser I wish I have more if, um, mucho tiempo. Um, más tiempo. More, more, more time. More time. Uh -huh. Because. Because yo, usted me tendría que decir why. Yo le diría because is necessary. Right. Um, um, I have a conocimiento skills, skills para dar más conocimiento, skills. pues, tener más tiempo. <laughs> to have, okay, to get more skills. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, continue, continue. Okay, I I I am asked one the teacher only a uh, um uh, only. Me han estado preguntando a mí. You ask questions to people. Ask okay. Wilber or Enrique. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, Wilber. You parents, your family? I wish um have um uh, uh, familia unida. ¿Cómo sería? Family. O sea, me gustaría tener una familia. Reunida, vivir cerca de todos. No, I, also will, I, I, live, I wish I live near my family. I wish I live near my family. Yeah, yeah. One in, more, Mr. Dio, please. In your school or job, your home. I wish how I speak English. What? <laughs> I wish I how speak English. The DIE, I wish. I quit. Uh, how? Pero. Speak English. I spoke. I wish I spoke, spoke English. Uh, yeah, I spoke it, my friend. Spoke, okay. I spoke Ready? English. Very good. Do you still your free time? I wish um, I have more time for for um, practice um, um, and the gym. Uh, levantar pesa, ¿cómo sería, mm -hmm. teacher? To lift weight. Mm -hmm. Lift weight. Correct. Uh, wow. I wish I have a more time and lift weight. Okay, thanks. Congratulations. Excellent, excellent. All right, so we are going to stop right here because it's time for you to rest. All right, so let's just go back to the main session, okay? Uh, Sir Enrique, I have a question for you. Let go. Okay, excellent. So, because of the time, I'm just going to listen to three wishes. So, Mr. Edmundo, can you start with the first one? A wish about anything you would like to change? The microphone, Mr. Thank you, teacher. Uh, I wish uh, I wear handsome. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, goodness. Mm -hmm. Jesus, thank you, thank you for the example. Uh, I, 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 I wish I spoke uh, English very well. So. Okay, you're very close to get it, right? So mm -hmm. keep practicing. Thank you, thank you. All right, the next one, uh, Maria, what's your wish? Magdalena? Connection issues. Wilbur, Be what's sure. your wish? Ah, okay, okay. I what, am what? wish. Uh -huh. Speak English, please. Spoke English. Spoke English. Okay, excellent. And we're gonna finish with Wilbur. Wilbur, what's your wish? I wish uh, how more time um, a leaf um. I don't have pesa. I me olvido. A leaf on. Leaf. 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 The. Me gustaría tener más tiempo para levantar pesa. Okay, so I wish I had more time. All right, yes. I wish I had more time to lift weight. Lift weight. Lift there weight. you go. Weight. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Uh, good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Uh, good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Teacher, take care, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Congratulations, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow with energy. Bye-bye.